what you're about to watch is part number two to my five thousand dollar Pokemon mystery box. If you haven't seen part number one, make sure you go click the link in the description. It's definitely worth checking out. So guys, next up in the box, I want to unbox right. It's something, this thing right here. It's very interesting because he's actually gave me a heads up. He said, what's in the tube? You may want to actually blur out and not even put in the video. It's something that was never for sale. It's something that I... I'm guessing will never be on eBay, but you'll love it. But I, it just doesn't, he doesn't know, he says if you don't want to put in the video and you just want to have it in your collection, because this piece is like, I don't know, I literally, that's all he said. Make sure you blur it out, and then if you want to show it, show the people that you have it in your collection, you can do it. If not, you can keep it a secret forever. So let's open it up. Um, I'm curious, that's all I know, I swear I don't know anything else. Other than I'm not sure if I should have it in my collection. Whoa, no! No way! I've always wanted this. I've always wanted one of these. Ho, ho! Yo, I definitely should not have this in my collection. Because this is recent. Ladies and gentlemen, we have... Oh! Oh! No, you have not. An uncut sheet of Legend or Radiant Collection. This is the entire Radiant Collection that was never cut. And li literally TCA Gaming sort of hold of it and sent it in. This is an uncut sheet of Legendary Collection. We got full art Reshiram, full art Mew. These cards by themselves go for like, I don't know, 10 bucks each. So to have this on a huge sheet that was never cut, this is priceless. I mean, it probably has got a price on it, but I'm done. I'm done. I don't know if I can continue making YouTube videos. I, I can't. I can't make YouTube videos anymore because nothing will ever match this one today. Literally, that is so sick. You don't understand. I've always wanted an uncut sheet of Pokemon cards, but they're so expensive. Like, we've got wrappers of base set and fossil, but to have this is just stupidly expensive and stupidly hard to get, if possible at all. I'm putting this to the side. But uh, you guys would understand if I just quit YouTube right now, like honestly, he's right, they just, they wouldn't come up on eBay. There's still stuff, like uh, a fair bit of stuff to open up in the crazy ass mystery box. Let's do, let's do, uh, I guess another PSA card. I can, I can kind of tell I'm pretty good now, I'm just like, boom, PSA card. Let's do it. Um, bad boy, what do we got here? Yo! Oh! I was thinking about getting this PSA Grader 2 and I didn't, but then he sent me one. Gem Mint Condition 2019 Black Star Promo Pikachu and Zekrom Tag Team. Oh no! Dude, this is unreal. This is literally... I can't believe I have this in my collection. I cannot believe the, the tier of products this man is sending me. I have no words anymore. I have- I've retired from speaking. Uh, let's do it. What's this? What the flip is this? You'd say, booster box. That doesn't- it doesn't sound like one. It's too rigid to be a booster box. Dude, I- I take all of that back! <laughs> it's none other- look at this! It's none other than a team up booster box right here! So I was right, the shape was a booster box, but it just felt so hard packed in, I was like, no way. The best part about this right, why is this special? Pokemon, like, three weeks ago officially stopped all print of, uh, Team Up. So this, getting this right here, if you kept this in your collection, it's just going up. I mean, from when he sent it to now, it's probably gone up even more. So this is like an investment piece he sent us. They just officially, they stopped making it. Um, they sent the memo out, and I know a couple people that sell Pokemon cards, so like, if you manage to get a hands on one of these, keep it, it's going up in value. That is sick, thank you very much. Alright, ladies, there's another one. There's a... This is an Elite Trainer box. I'm, that's what I'm putting out there. It's huge, but it's like probably Elite Trainer box huge. So let's open you up. Whoa, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, oh, oh my. Guys, I only know about this because when I started collecting, I don't know, when I started my collection again like eight years ago or something, I looked at these and they were like pretty expensive and I thought why would anyone want these and they've just gone up value and I've always regretted not buying it. It is a sealed, this is what they would send to the shops when the jungle set first came out to sell the theme decks. A completely sealed up jungle 
theme deck case. Look at that, you can see all the jungle theme decks in there. Yo, this would be so valuable. Wizard of the Coast seal on it as well. Unreal, the two types of theme decks. Could you imagine opening that now? How cool would that be? You just have a full booster box of um, theme decks. That is unreal. Yo, bro, I, I, again? I love this man so much. He's got a YouTube channel as well. Check that out by all means, fellas. If you haven't checked out his YouTube channel, his eBay store, if you want to buy, I'll try to link some of this stuff below if you want to buy it because he has crazy stuff like this for sale. <sighs> How? How does one man have this much vintage stuff in one collection? We're putting this to the side. Let's, uh, let's keep it going. What's this? What the flip is this? This is my question. Tiny, absolutely small as. I am very curious. Maybe cards, but still too small to be cards. It's cards. It's cards! What the- oh! Okay, okay, okay. Look at that. Look how thick it is. Oh, they, I think everything's an EX. I'm pretty sure everything's insanely valuable. We have another PSA card, and then we got two more. Two more bubble mailers to go. They're both- uh, Maybe they're both PSA. Maybe one more is a booster. I don't know. We'll find out. Whatever. Let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Oh, okay. What is it? What is it? Let's find out. Yo! I- this is out the this is out the Nintendo Mag Dark Persian Hollow promo black star you could only get back in the day. The year 2000 Nintendo magazine exclusive, 7 out of 10 condition. It was literally only at the end of the video when I was setting up to do the recap that I realized exactly what this PSA card was. It wasn't just any regular black star back in the day magazine promo. It was literally an error misprint PSA graded card. It's ridiculously rare. Oh, whoa, hang on! This is a no print. Oh my god. This is an error. No HP. Oh, get out of here. I didn't realize that. 60 HP is missing. They forgot to print it and they graded it. Get out of here. PSA accepted that. Look, it says no 60 HP. What the heck? Are you kidding? This is not only a Dark Persian Nintendo Magazine promo, Black Star from back in the day, holo. This is an error card with no HP. That's sick. That is so sick. Oh, this even got better. Holy Aunt Jemima. What do you guys think of that? They forgot to print the HP. It's an error card. PSA graded. Dude, Blackstar Dark Persian. 7 out of 10. I'm taking that. Okay, here we go. I think this is another PSA card. I'm pretty sure. Let's find out what's in the bag. In the bag. What's in the bag today? <laughs> I'm done. I'm so done. Detective Pikachu. Gemmin condition. Promo Charizard. This is a Charizard that already goes for a stack by itself, but to have the Gem Mint PSA version, priceless. That, I literally know what, like, off the top of my head, I know 10 people that would pay stupid money to buy this off me immediately. If I sent them a text, they'd be like, they'd offer me money, because this is like a hot seller. All the kids want Detective Pikachu cards. Um, I'm sure a lot of you, anyone that likes Charizard wants this card, put it that way. What is this? What is today? This is it, guys. The last thing. Doesn't even feel like a PSA card. I'm ready to retire. What, what, what's what's going to be inside? I have to do a collection video after this. Like, I need to. For my own sake. I've just had the craziest update ever. I don't know why I shouldn't look in there. I shouldn't look in there. I saw some reflective, like, patterns. I was like, oh, what's that? This one's still shut. What is it? What is it? What is it? What is it? <gasps> Dude, well, I haven't seen one of these in the ages. We end the video, the TCA Gaming, stupid 5000 whatever it is in Australian, with an E-Series Expedition Sealed Mint Condition Booster Pack. Look at that, Venusaur E-Series, like original basic E-Series artwork, for ISBN barcode, that. That's how you end it. That is all, ugh, I've thought about buying these off eBay too. The recap alone on this video, I'm scared to do. I'm, I'm not. I'm not afraid to say it. I'm literally not afraid to say it. That video that we just watched, that two-part series, that was the best opening mystery box I've ever done on the channel. 
Alrighty, fellas, so without further ado, we're going to enter into the final stage of TCA Gaming's 5,000 US dollar mystery box. And it's this stack of loose cards. Not PSA graded. I don't know what's in this. It's just a random bag. It's not even one of his premium packs, which scares the absolute bejeebus out of me because I don't even know what's inside of these things. And if you don't know, TCA Gaming has the biggest Pokemon store on all of eBay. So this man would just have some absolute rip snorters lying around. He would just chuck in here. Like some of these I don't think are even sleeved. He's just grabbed them and chucked them in here. Um, so let's do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it and hope for the best. As you can see, a lot of these are like, uh, I've, I can see the edges. I can see a couple of full arts in there. I can see a couple of EXs. I can see a few GXs. Um, and I think maybe, okay, okay, I think they're literally, I think they're literally, as, oh, what, what's he, what's he done? What's he done? Does the man want to troll me? He sent me 50,000 Tapacocos. Oh no. <laughs> okay, it's not all Tapacocos. There's a shockle right there. What is this? My least favorite Pokemon is like Tapacoco because he's everywhere. And TCA Gaming, yo! <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dude, that's a shiny as well. He sent me nine Tapacoco GXs. Oh my. <laughs> Holy smokes. What in West Virginia do you do this for? That is unreal. You know, I'm not a huge fan of Tapacoco, but that many awesome GXs is insane. Yo, what? Can I... I'm going to try and keep a counter of how much this is all worth at the top. Um, I probably can't do every single card, like animate the uh, price tag on it. But I'll try and keep a total of how much this is all worth. Because it's going to be a fair bit. Alright, you ready? So we'll keep going. We've got Lunala GX as well. Ah, oh, why am I putting this at the back? It's just every card's going to belong at the back. Feramosa. Oh, nice! Where have you plucked these from, man? Like, I'm so curious. Maybe he's just taking a... Dude. I'm curious because he hasn't sleeved them up. So maybe he's just bought some of these and he was going to sell them. But he's like, you know what? Have them instead. Kingdra GX as well. Zygarde. A lot of these are like GXs randomly out of sets. Or a lot of these are from like tins. Bayonet GX. All right. Let's keep it going. <laughs> Dude, this is ridiculous. Shuckle GX, we got a Skeptile GX as well, Virizion GX, oh my, is this not the best video you've ever seen? Macog, <laughs> oh my gosh, and I put the giant card that he sent us up there as well, which is pretty cool. Sigilith GX, Tyranitzar GX, yo, you guys have to let me know, what's your favorite out of all of these GXs and EXs? These are all properly GXs though, Celesteela GX, Raichu GX. This is the type of video I wish I wasn't recording and I was watching because I'm curious what the price counter is and just like the surprise that I keep getting. All right, Snorlax GX, Lycanroc GX as well. Still Valley, no way. Solgaleo, the best part is I don't need, oh, these are all promos. That is disgustingly epic. Ho Ho GX, as a promo, Lucario giving you the whoosh. Then we've got Necrozma. Umbreon. I have not seen that card in ages. No wonder. It's the 36th promo. We're up to like number 300. No wonder I haven't seen that in a hot minute. Dragonite. That's a more recent one. Marshadow. Back in the day, number 59. Like still quite recent. Oh, okay. Okay. I see something. I literally see something and I think I know what it is. I'm not going to try and spoil it for myself. But maybe I'm going to have to. Maybe I'm going to have to. Holy Aunt Jemima. He's got a stack. These are all full arts. And all I see is Entei right there. He's got a stack of all full arts. And they're all sleeved. You ready? Mr. Mime GX. Nagandal GX. Salazzle GX. And let's do it. We're venturing into the mysterious world of ridiculous full art cards he sent us. So if you're not on the floor dead, you're like, dude, this may have been the greatest three-part mystery box ever. Just prepare your soul. Entei GX. Guzzlord GX as well. Alolan Golem GX. <laughs> no way, dude. Dude, these aren't even like promos. These are legitimate cards out of sets. 
Oh! Okay, I want to go buy a binder. I'm going to buy a binder and call it TCA's binder and just put all this stuff in there. Lycanroc GX. Gumshoe GX as well. Then Metal Core Barrier out of Unbroken Bonds. I'm pretty sure that one is. Secret Rare Full Art. No way! Rainbow Rare Alola Ninetales GX. And then it ends with a Rainbow Rare Salazzle GX as well. Ladies and gentlemen, what in the absolute heck? Did he just send us there? What was all of those cards? Dude, that is insane. Bro. He, like, that's how he's finished the box off. He's gone, you know what? Just to make sure it definitely goes over how much you paid for it. Here's a stack of GXs. And guys, if you still haven't passed out from all of those EX, GX, and Full Art cards, let's have a recap of all of these amazing sealed products that he did manage to send to the mystery box. And if you haven't demolished the like button, please demolish it because it helps me out. Um, and I really love doing these types of videos and showing you guys love them too just makes me go, you know what? Let's buy another one. But anyway, let's have a look at what he sent in this bad boy as a recap. This was like the best video ever. All right, so we'll start off here. We've got obviously the complete jungle holo collection. Every single holo card that was inside a jungle, he sent it. Oh my gosh. Now I've got another, I've already got the complete base set one. So to have jungle done now is ridiculously cool. Then the two seal boosters, like the only two seal boosters, First edition Neo Destiny, one of the rarest boosters you could ever get, and a base air Expedition E-Series booster right here, Golden Venusaur Pack. Up here we got the uh, base air era Team Rocket cardboard box, which is basically a card box. I really did need this, I mean now I need it more than ever to put all the EXs and GXs in there, but really cool looking like cardboard box. As we come up here though, we have got that Team Up booster box right here, looks amazing, I mean it's stock standard, we've unboxed one of those in the channel, we know what it is. Then we've got a themed deck complete sealed case or booster box, whatever you'd like to pronounce it as, jungle edition. So now I've got all the hollows out of the set right, but I've also got a whole like, I don't know, case of theme decks. Dude, this is, this is really cool, I love it. It's got the Wizards Coast, like, seal too. Then do. I mean, what the, what the flip is this? What the flip is this? Can you guys see this is basic Pokemon there as well? I've basically won the league prize without ever attending the league. This is sick. From base set 2 as well. You guys saw it in part number 1 if you haven't seen it already. Really sick. All of our PSA cards. I mean, which one is your favorite? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Either the two EXs. Maybe Blaziken's my favorite. But you can't go past this bad boy right here. Dark Persian with a missing HP. They literally forgot to print Dark Persian's HP. That's so rare, like that doesn't happen. Cause like you already look at it like it's a Black Star promo only available in Nintendo Magazine. Ultra Rare Holo, right? Wrong, get the Error Edition with no HP. That's ridiculous. And then we come up here, we got a Neo Discovery uh, booster box all sealed up. I mean, holy smokes. Still haven't made my mind up what I'm going to do with it, if I'm going to open it or keep it sealed, but it's just a beautiful box, and uh, yeah, the price tag really does represent how, <laughs> how cool everyone thinks it is. And then last but not least, a full Radiant collection on an uncut sheet. I can't say much more, like that's, that's what this is. It's sick, it's ridiculous, maybe I get it framed. But without further ado, let's end the video with a rough how much this box ended up being worth. <laughs> 